Hello, welcome to this how-to video on disassembling a 17F60 Flomax pump air motor. Shown are the tools needed for disassembling the entire 17F60 pump. For this air motor portion, the clamp puller and marker are not needed, but are used on the fluid section disassembly. To begin, we're going to remove the outer cover of the air motor. We will use a 5 mm Allen wrench to loosen the two top screws, allowing the cover to be slid off. Next, we will remove the muffler bracket. We will have a 10 mm combination wrench to remove the two bolts from the top of the bracket. Once they are removed, the bracket and muffler sponge can be removed. Next, we are going to remove the reversing block. You will use a six millimeter Allen wrench to loosen the two screws, securing it to the upper flange. You want to loosen and remove the reversing block before removing the tension spring from the fork. It makes it real easy, where if you try to loosen the spring from the fork, possibility of damage to the spring can occur. And once the two bolts are loosened, you can just slide the spring from the reversing block lever. Next, you will flip the air motor over and you'll need to remove the lower mounting bracket bolt from the lower flange using a 13 millimeter combination wrench and the airline fitting using a 14 millimeter combination wrench, open end to loosen and remove the fitting to the airline. Removing both of these allows the lower flange to be removed from the air motor. And to do that, you're going to need a 13 millimeter to remove the four bolts and the nuts that secure them to the tie rods. Once all four bolts are removed, it'll take some force, but you can slide the lower flange off the air motor piston. You can see the inner seal and fork bushing. Then you will slide off the air cylinder. And next we'll be removing the piston assembly. You will need a needle nose plier to remove the two C-clips, one below the piston and one above. First remove the below. That will allow the piston to be slid off the fork.
then the upper clip can be removed using the pliers again. That will allow the fork to be pulled through the upper portion of the upper flange. There are two seals on both the upper and lower flange for the air cylinder. Those can be removed using a pick if need be. Now to remove the fork sleeve pushing, you can use a socket head or something in the diameter of that sleeve but we have a bolt from the lower fluid section that fits perfectly and using the rubber mallet you can uh, tap out both the upper and lower flange sleeve they're both the same part And next, to remove the inner seal and O-ring, you can use a pick to get in and pry both the sleeve and the O-ring using a pick. Now for the piston assembly. You will need a 2.5 Allen wrench. And there's three screws holding the bearing seal. Once those are removed, the bearing seal can be removed from the plate along with the inner seal O-ring. and the paper gasket. Next, you can use a eight millimeter Allen, and it's best to use a vise to secure it. And you can put the piston bolt on Then using a 15 millimeter open end wrench to remove the piston rod. Once the rod is removed, you can pull off the two seal plates from the top and bottom of the plate. There is an O-ring seal. that can be removed. All the seals and O-rings will be replaced during rebuild. Now to get the piston seal ring off the plate, you can use the pick and you don't have to worry about damaging them as we will be replacing them. Now to fully disassemble the reversing block. There are three seals at the bottom. You can remove those using the pick if need be. Now we will use a five millimeter Allen to remove the outer cap of the valve for screws.
There are two screws holding the base to the reversing block body that can be removed, but since there are no moving parts or any issues in there, you do not have to remove that block portion. And in this video, we're not going to, we'll leave that on and you use a pick to remove the seal from the cap. Then you can see the valve. You're going to want to use a needle nose plier to crimp the cotter pin and push out. You want to hold down that brass cap and spring so it doesn't fly off. If you don't, it can pop off and a chance of losing the parts. But you pull that out, the spring and cap come off, and you can pry up the valve itself, the plastic valve. And there is a metal key to help in alignment. You can remove that also. Then, using a flat blade screwdriver, you can get underneath the valve plate and pry that up and remove that and the paper gasket. Then, that will allow you to pull the lever out from the front and there is a seal o-ring on the back that can be removed with a pick if need be and that basically completes the disassembly of the reversing block and concludes the disassembly of the 17f60 flow max pump air motor